Wow, what a video we've got today. Okay, so I just spent 12 and a half minutes making up a grade three level PowerPoint presentation, and I'm going to present it to you because uh, it matters. This matters. I've got the 10 coolest illustration rares so far from the Scarlet and Violet era. Uh, quick point, nothing from 151 because that would probably be my whole list. Let's be honest. I'm a, I'm a 1990s girly. So 10 coolest illustration rares so far. And if you don't agree, uh, you're wrong because art isn't subjective. It's just, these are the coolest cards so far. Um, I really did not spend a lot of time putting it. And you're going to see the quality of this video go. So here we go. Let's just get into it. Number 10, it's drowsy. Is this not cool from the Scarlet Violet base? Okay. So here's the deal. One verse. Scary. Number two, I feel like this is what drowsy sees. You know what I mean? Like this whole vibe right there. Look at that. Ooh, I have a blue arrow. Cool. I've never really screen recorded before, but I feel like that's just his vision. Like it's like, ooh, this is creepy. This is weird. Everyone's tripping out. Never going to a carnival again. Uh, but that means it's cool. Okay, and here's a cool thing about the artists too. They did the Ghastly Haunter and Gengar from 151. If you remember that line, that's very popular in Japanese with the Master Ball uh, line. Very cool. Uh, other things they've done. They did the uh, the Bax Caliber line with Frigibax and Arctobax. Arctobax. Um, which was very cool. And it kind of, it is like, it's a similar art style. You see it. I think there was one other one that I wanted to talk about too. They did like a, I think they did a scream promo. Um, am I making that up? Yeah, they did the Psyduck, that scream uh, from sun and moon. Um, so very cool art. They've done a lot of cards and you can see their stuff um, all over. Uh, they've even got, well, I'm looking at it now. They got an impidim coming up in stellar miracle. Watch for that. So very cool. It's a very cool card. Drowsy's cool. That's number 10. So far, uh, number nine, King Gambit. Whoa, <laughs> hot take. You're welcome. Another Skylet Violet base set. Uh, look, look at this dude. Guy's looking menacing. He's got all the Bisharps. They're going minion mode. They're ready to protect him, do anything he says. He's the king of the castle here. He's always sitting down. I respect that. I want to sit down. Also, Tony Soprano vibes. That's a really good point by me, I thought. Shin Nagasawa is the artist on this card, which is very cool. They did a bunch of shinies for Paldean Fates. Uh, they've done a lot in this era. A lot of Paldea Evolved, a couple of Obsidian Flames, uh, a lot of Scarlet Violet base set. Uh, they've done a lot through the years. Uh, they've been drawing for a long time or doing art for a long time for these sets. So they have a lot of really cool common and uncommon cards as well. Uh, we got the VMAXs for the Gyarados from Evolving Skies, a bunch of like Shining Fates cards. So it's very cool. Uh, very cool to see them get a... Uh, full art, an illustration rare, or an art rare, depending on how you, what language you speak. Uh, but I really like this card. It's menacing. It gets the point across. I think this is a que sweet quiz. Number nine. Okay, number eight. Whoa, don't turn off the page. Iron Jugulus. Hear me out. This card is sick. This card is sick. Even if you don't like the Paradox Pokemon, I feel like this card like actually captures the future Paradox vibe. It's got the Miami Vice Diner vibes it's got like a little like grand theft auto -y vibe to it the night sky looks unreal uh you can see the stars in the sky but also like it's got the white dots uh just on iron jugulus and that kind of blends into the sky really well um it's really cool it looks menacing i've been saying menacing a ton today and i'm gonna keep saying it but it looks really great uh i really like this artwork and it pops uh visually just color wise it's really cool done by Ghidorah. uh they did the uh hisuian growlith and perrin from twilight masquerade that y'all love very cool card back to back uh they've done what else have they done in here they did oh they did charmander charmeleon from 151 that's cool i didn't know that i'm like looking through all the art they've done a lot of um trainer cards too uh arvin jack a lot of that stuff. Uh, oh, they did the Charizard with uh, their trainer in Lost Origin. That's cool, too. That was a great card. So uh, they've been done. Their first card was the Bolton V from Brilliant Stars. So a newer artist. I really like what they've done with Iron Jugulus here. Uh, I know people. some people don't love the Paradox Pokemon, but they made it work here. Number eight was Iron Jugulus. That's a cool card. That's a cool card. Blow that up. I put that up as a poster in my room. Number seven, argue it, Ninetales, Obsidian Flames. Ninetales is cool. Look at it, it's, glow, it's glowing up. Hashtag slay. I've made that point there. That's very valuable point. Uh, I'm going to try and sound really cool here and sophisticated. Look at how it's framed by the forest. And then it's glowing sort of off in the distance. That's good art. I actually have it. Hang on. I've got one here. Uh, I just wanted to show off in person. 
Look at that. It's very nice. It's very nice in person. It just looks cool. Like, it's a very cool card. It's a very cool Pokemon. I like this Ninetales a lot. Obsidian Flames actually has some cool artworks. I like the Pidgeot line. I do. Uh, it's not on this list, but I like it a lot. So we're giving it number seven. That's a cool card. Ninetales are cool. Will-O-Wisp? Cool move. Very cool. Number six. This card's sick, dog. Okay. Porygon is with the Z on it. Okay. Ultimate Gamer Room vibes slash podcast. It's making a podcast down here, which is kind of sick. Okay. Kind of sick making a podcast. Uh, it's got the neon Pikachu, which I really like, and the neon. And just like the whole room is littered with posters. It's got itself different versions of Porygon up here. I believe there's Porygon 2 and just regular Porygon. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, yeah, so like different versions. The hat, I want the hat. Uh, Porygon plays the guitar, apparently. That's kind of sick. Uh, the artist is Gosan. Uh, who's done a couple of Porygons, did a por is new Porygon 2, did the Zapdos from Twilight Masquerade, which you know I can get behind, did uh, some eerie stuff, eerie, iri from, uh, what's it called? The uh, bah, 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 Temporal Forces, sorry. Um, so they've done a lot of stuff. They did a lot of stuff in like Crown Zenith, Silver Tempest. They've got cards, Lost Origin. So they've sort of been drawing like a couple of cards per per set starting with a uh, brilliant stars it looks like yeah very cool very cool porygon z from paradox rift this card is cool it's bright it lights up party let's go number five whoa dondozo scarlet by the base scarlet by the base getting some love just saying the storm got the water looking bloody the red sea vibe tats gears looking on dog you gotta chill this tats gear is getting flown through it was probably like trying to get in its mouth to hype up the dondozo and it was like nah I'm, I'm already on one the water looks great like even the details in all the water drops here are super sick i'm so advanced when it comes to art uh the drops are up here like that it, it all looks really good it looks menacing. I'm insane. I'm going to say menacing and probably in all of them. Uh, it looks great. I didn't, And I think, too, the blue, this was the other point. The blue just looks really nice with the water around because water, a lot of people think water is blue. But to have red water and then a blue big whale Pokemon in there, that's kind of sick. Akira Igwa uh, is the artist. Sorry if I said that wrong. They did the, um, oh yeah, this is in, they did the Charizard uh, EXs. So they did it in the Paldean Fates and the uh, Obsidian Flames, like the special illustration rare Charizards, which is very cool. They did both of them. And uh, maybe my favorite card so far from the Scarlet Violet Era, the Chi Yu special illustration rare, also with red water. Uh, it's pretty good with red water, is what I'm starting to figure out. So I really like this Pokemon. They did Pikachu V Union. Cool. Pikachu V Max stuff. They did the, um, oh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to talk about this, too. They did all the um, gold, all of them, too, from Crown Zenith, all the gold. So they did Giratina, Arceus, uh, Dialga, Palkia, the Origin Four Months. And those cards are phenomenal. They all slap. So clearly, Akira knows what's going on. They've been drying a long time since Unified Minds, a Riolu, was their first card. That's cool. Very cool. Okay. Uh, unless this is lying to me and I just have to hit a next page and then maybe they've been drawing for longer. But the end of the page I'm looking at, Unified Minds. Okay, number four, T-Tar. Not Grodon. Not me, guy, John Grodon. Actually, not my guy. I don't like him. But uh, Tyranitar, it's done by the same artist, uh, Nero uh, which is very cool. Listen, we get it. Godzilla vibes, okay? The Star Raptors in the background, they go crazy hard, Okay menacing i wrote it down this time it's intimidating it's cool it's cool. i don't know why but i find this card way cooler than the grudon it's just like the color maybe not way cooler but it is cooler to me i've had enough i've seen volcanoes before you know what i mean but i haven't seen these birds flying through that also on the uh card itself like the like these specks of dirt up on the t-tar here uh, they're like a hollow pattern. So it all has like little hollow chunks and it looks really cool on the card. It looks really cool on the card. I have it in Japanese. I should have got it out for this video, um, to show you guys, but, uh, it looks like a newer artist started in brilliant stars as well, but you might remember Nurakabe from the Aerodactyl from lost origin. Poker Rev couldn't find it. Uh, that was his card too. So Knows what knows what they're doing. Now you got bad news what they're doing. Okay, number three. If you haven't seen your favorite Pokemon yet, is it gonna be there? Ah! Number three. Whoa. Okay. 
come at me on this one. Age of Slash, Paradox Ripped. This is a cool card. This is cool. This looks majestic. Okay, so this is the artist's first uh, card ever in the TC. They did like three for the online game, I believe. But this is the first one that's ever gone in the TCG. And it is this uh, illustration rare. And this artist was an illustrator for Zelda Breath of the Wild and Skyward Sword. Okay, and does that not come across here? Like this has big Zelda vibes. I was actually talking about this uh, with the uh, store runner of DJK Entertainment the other day. to a cool store in Toronto. Check it out. Uh, we were talking about it and just like, he's like, oh yeah, it is Zelda vibes. But like, I didn't know that about the artist. And I'm like, yeah, it's sick. I just found this out. Uh, honestly, also too, Age of Slash like deserves this. You know what I mean? Age of Slash is kind of cool. I didn't like it at the start, but it was like a competitive mainstay in the VGC. And now it gets just like this sick. This card goes hard. This card goes hard. Yeah, this is the third coolest card. There's honestly no argument. Uh, number two. You guys have probably heard of this. Probably heard of the artist. Uh, Magic Carp. There you go. Yeah, you got it. Paldea Vault. Here's the thing. I'm not just saying this because it's like a super popular card and everyone loves it. Uh, it's cool. You know what I mean? Here's the thing. The coolest part. I didn't even notice this until I had it in my hand. Here. Let me pull it out. Uh, it's the Gyarados up top for me that makes this card that much cool. Look at this right here. Gyarados. I didn't notice it until it was in my hand. Maybe I'm the only one. Uh, there it is. Beautiful, right? Beautiful. If it had like texture, this card would be going berserk right now. Um, but it is a very, very cool card. And like, honestly, just the fact that it's a waterfall, classic move, the orange contrast, the blue gray, and then the surrounding, like everything is so detailed. Everything is so beautiful. Shinji Kanda, uh, yeah, Giratina. Like you could go down the line of amazing artworks that they've done. Uh, I didn't even realize I loved their stuff until like are, are, here's the thing they're still okay goaded status already but i like i would pull out random cards and i was like oh, i really I, I remember the magmar from brilliant stars and i remember playing that I'd be like this is the coolest magmar i've ever seen and that's shinji kanda uh and obviously the giratina we've talked about it and did the galarian moltres the promos from the crown zenith tins which is very cool um it did the sweet Aerodactyl from 151 and the Absol from Paradox Rift. Like, I remember even just pulling out that Absol. Uh, just an uncommon, common, uncommon. And I was like, that thing is so fire. Um, so check them out. It's got a Slitherwing and Night Wanderer, an Iron Moth Shrouded Fable. Uh, coming out, Giraffe Rig and Twilight Masquerade. I mean, this card goes so hard. Okay, I got some honorable mentions for you. I got some honorable mentions here. Uh, wow, I am so good at making PowerPoint presentations. <laughs> okay, here are some other cool ones. Let me talk. Let me talk you through these. Frostlass, cool, freaky Pokemon, scary. This gives off a real creepy vibe. Like if that was crawling into your little, you'd be freaked out. So it's very cool. It was like right there for me. The other one I almost put in. I had it at number ten at one point. Was the Fletchender, which for some reason is real blurry. Um, I should have added to the PowerPoint. It looks really cool in person. Like it does, like the flames light up really nicely here. Let me pull it out. I have a couple of these here. Um, the Fletch, like the flames just really look nice on it and they really shine well. And then on the lantern here, there's like a little evil face, which I think is a very cool detail. And then even on the coffee cup, it looks like a little Fletch skeleton. I don't know if you can see it there. It's very cool. Uh, it's given like, hey, I'm just made a fire for myself. I don't need nobody else. Uh, and birds drink coffee now. I think this card is very cool. It's between this and the the uh, drowsy for me. This gloom, it just looks beautiful. Like that's cool. Gloom's cool. Gloom's drooling. That's a cool card. It makes good. Arbok, cool. Very like comic booky. My friend was like, oh, it's like a super man comic book vibe. It's right. Tucanon is in some trouble. Uh, I really love this Arbok. And we pulled it the other day, too. It's actually really nice. Should I pull it out? I should have been pulling out more throughout. There's a gas. I didn't put the Ghastly in, guys. I didn't put the Ghastly if you were expecting that number one. It wasn't the coolest for me. That Like, that's cool. Magby. Magby's chilling, man. He's hot, but he's cool. You know what I mean? Like, he's blowing out a little bit. He's burping up lava. That's cool. And then this is like Aquaman, Batman, Justice League, Zack Snyder, Make It Dark bubbles like it's menace it looks cool he looks like he's ruling the sea here 
Uh, I really do like this palafin. I know it's, you pull it in every four packs in a Paldea. Uh, it's, but it's still very cool. Okay, number one. You guys ready for this? I'm going to blow your mind. What do you think number one is right now? Let me know. Great. Okay, number one, Scizor. <laughs> Argue it. Scissor, all-time cool. Scyther, sick. Scizor, made it cooler. Okay? Look at this artwork. It's got, like, red sky, unreal vibes. It either looks to me like they're fighting and, like, they've got each other's back here, or they, like, just went at each other and, like, flew by each other. Now they're waiting to see which one of them still has, like, an arm. I don't know. They look sick. Um, the feeling of fighting for their lives is there, and it feels, like, very apocalyptic up here. What did I? It was, like, a... It's very, like, end gamey. Very Avengers Endgame y. Um, but it, the Red Sky, it invokes, and I Googled this, it invokes a feeling of danger in power. <laughs> Can't learn that in art school. Can't learn that in art school. Uh, Oku is the artist. This was uh, their first card, according to the thing I'm on. Uh, they also did the Galissapod EX from Paradox Rift and the Wimpod. So that set out. Uh, and the Glissopod goes hard. I also remember, too, I pulled out the Golurk from Temporal Forces, and I remember looking at it on this channel and be like, this card's like a nine, nine and a half. Like, it's so sick. Uh, and that was from them, too. So they do a lot of stuff with, like, a red background that's drawn in this style. Uh, they got a King Gamut promo coming out for the uh, new promos, which is going to be sweet. So I'm very excited for that. This card, like, I don't really know how you make a better scissor card. And it's got cut, so you can get through trees in Johto. Encanto? I don't know how you make a better card. Okay? So this is my number one card. How is that for a presentation? Okay, so here's what you're going to do. Subscribe to the channel if you're still with me here. Let me know which one was your favorite. Uh, let me know what you think of the list. Feel free to put your own list in the bottom or any ones that I missed. Uh, I would love to hear back from you. Love to hear your thoughts on the list. Uh, let's talk. I'll talk to you guys in the comments. Uh, thank you for watching. Bye.